welcome back to Guitar Slinger TV. I'm John Bavoda. And I'm Paul Vario. And John, today I think we should talk about something that I feel is probably like one of the most personal things about playing a musical instrument. It's such a unique thing. It's almost like a, a musical fingerprint, if you will. Oh, that, I like and, that. Yeah. Oh. And that's vibrato. Just the way we're sure. all unique and we're all, you know, one of a kind. Our fingerprints are great examples of that. We're all playing the same 12 notes. But man, it's what we do. <laughs> it's with what them. we do with them that makes them great. Sure. And for me, when I'm soloing, vibrato is such a big part of my playing. It's me how too. I express myself. Me too. It's how I make the music have emotion and feeling. Sure. And I think every player does it a little bit differently. Yep. With your students, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure like you, like like me, you try to be really consistent and teach things the same way. When it comes to the vibrato, I actually encourage my students to like, hey, this isn't like a, a one size fits all sort of technique. It right. You know, everyone does theirs a little bit differently. Right. And I just kind of explain to them the basics of, of how to go about doing it. I think today it would be really fun. We just take turns. You feel like going first? Sure. So um, play play a lick or two and talk a little bit about your vibrato and how you approach it. Sure. Um, if you just play any lick, let's say, and you just go. Cool, okay, but it's it's kind of boring. It has no life to it. Now I'll play the same or close to it and add some vibrato to it. And now it has soul. Now it sounds just cooler. <laughs> it's human. Right. You know, like synthesizers and stuff like that. I always think of them as, like, at least growing up in the 80s, it's very, like, robotic kind of tick-tick-tick right. sounds. And with a vibrato, it's just, ah, oh, it has life to so, it. So... Physically, what I'm doing, yeah. uh, I'm taking the note and I'm, I'm basically shaking it, bending it up and down. Not shaking it, but yeah, bending it up right. and down um, in either direction, down and up. And that's basically the technique of it. Yeah. But people, every player does it differently. Some right. people use their whole hand and their whole arm and they really go up and yeah. down. Check out BB King sometime, the videos. Yeah. He's like shaking half of his body. I personally use um, just my whole hand. <laughs> and I kind of have a pretty violent vibrato. <laughs> You're aggressive. Because as Paul said before, you take your emotions out. And sometimes if I'm not in a good mood, sometimes I unfortunately sure. take it out on my guitar neck and... It, I don't want to take this in the wrong direction, but it's kind of like strangling the guitar sometimes. A little bit. A little bit. I'm sure so, we've all wanted to do that before. So I, I really I really dig your approach to that, but I'm sure sometimes you'll use vibrato on, on more subtle and more more like sure. relaxed you know, tunes. Sure. If I want to sing a melody um, with my playing, sometimes I'll go... Much smoother. And, you know, what, what, what really changed in John's approach there, we were talking about this just earlier, was that, like, think of, like, your vibrato. There's basically two things you control, okay? You can control the speed at which you bend the string and mm -hmm. then release the string. And you can control how far you bend the string right. and then release it again. So it's almost like, like a chorus pedal or, like, any modulation pedal, right. you know, vibrato and flangers and phasers. Mm -hmm. you usually you'll see a knob for, for rate, which is speed, and you'll see a knob for depth, which is right. how far out of tune it goes. Right. So yeah, like when John's being really aggressive, right. so he's bending really fast, and he's bending really deep, he's really shaking it. But when you were playing a little more smoothly there, your rate slowed, and you weren't going as deep with the bend. You weren't pulling exactly. it as far out of tune. Nice job. Now, we were also talking a little bit about different vibrato techniques, and I know you studied classical guitar yes. a fair bit. And that was uh, the biggest thing that I had to get used to, uh, playing electric guitar for most of for my life. life. Yeah. When um, I started playing classical uh, guitar and I would do a vibrato, um, my teacher at the time would say, would you stop <laughs> with that uh, crazy vibrato? And start thinking, I had to start thinking more of like a, a person playing cello. Sure, like, like like a classical string instrument with no frets. Yeah, they go more back and forth That's as right. most of the time I always did it was down and up. They right. do more of a subtle. Yeah, it's more across the string, less pulling the string off its axis and then returning it. Right. More like, you know, across. And it's much more subtle. It doesn't yeah. have as much... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, well, it doesn't have as violent of an attack for sure. Right. 
And and it is a real real subtle way of doing it. In fact, a lot of times I'll do it. So similar to you, I, I also occasionally will do this sort of like across the string sort of vibrato. But for me, my experience, so on top of playing guitar, I've played a whole lot of bass guitar in my life. He's actually a fantastic bassist. <laughs> And fretless bass guitar is something I'm really a big fan of. I love fretless bass. I'm a yeah. big Jocko guy and stuff like that. So so fretless bass guitar is the same concept. It's mm -hmm. a stringed instrument. It's got a neck. It's got no frets. So a lot of times I kind of get my fretless thing on when I play guitar. And people don't know it. I'm playing the little thing with six strings. But in my mind, it's my big P bass with no frets. And, right. and it kind of puts me in a happy place. Um, I, I approach things very much like you two, by the way. Right. Um, with me, it's like my vibrato, whatever finger I'm doing it from, you know, it's definitely my whole hand is moving. I'm, just, I'm not just like a strict finger vibrato back. I know some people do it. Cool. I don't do it very often. Um, I guess it's really sort of like if you look at like the way my arm is kind of coming out. Right. It's almost like it's shaking. My, my visual focal point is my wrist because my mm -hmm. wrist is really moving, but it's not actually my wrist that's turning, right? My forearm's turning from like my elbow. Sure. So that's really what's happening mechanically there. And for me, it's really important to think of like that I'm pulling the string out of tune, and then I let the string push itself back into place. Right. So I do half of the work, and the string does half of the work. It's a team effort. Yeah, absolutely. It's team lift. So I pull, and the string pushes back. And it doesn't matter if you push the string up or pull the string down, you're still raising it. It's yeah. still going to be sharp. So for me, my vibrato. Always, always pulling, letting the string bring it back. Mm -hmm. um, I like whammy bar. I'm kind of a whammy bar dude. And um, the neat thing you can do with a whammy bar for your vibrato is it allows you to lower the pitch of a string. Right. Which you can't do with a you can't do with your vibrato. fingers. You can bend it up. You can bend it down. You're still raising the pitch. Right. So you can get some pretty cool vibrato effects. <laughs> By using the bar, right. you're doing vibrato in a way that's actually kind of impossible to do just with your fingers. It is. You can pull up on the bar to mimic what yeah, you, you do with do. your hands. Right. But, you know, there's so many different ways of doing it. I mentioned BB King before. Oh, he's great. He was amazing. And, you know, talk about a one trick pony. I right. mean, BB. We love you. Thank we you love so you, much. Buddy. Amazing well, singer, and he sang wonderfully through his guitar. Didn't play chords. No, nope, not Hired a one. guitar players to play chords. Not a one. And he just played those blues licks with the most amazing vibrato ever. And it was beautiful. And it was the whole side of his body would move. It was incredible. Um, talking about the bar and just just general awesomeness. Jeff Beck is maybe my favorite guitarist. One of my favorite guitarists ever. Incredible. Not human. Uh, yeah, I agree. And he makes the guitar sing in ways that just completely blow me away. You know, for someone who gets paid to demystify guitar, I'm still trying to figure out Jeff Beck. He's just one really day we'll unique. get it. Yeah, a good a good exercise that I always have my students do just to develop your own uh, vibrato is is take the pentatonic scale sure. and each note give it a vibrato and just see what your personal feel what you like comes out. Maybe you like more in the middle maybe you like more violent or maybe you just like just a little but just play it up and down and each note give it a little yeah. vibrato i got one more tip and then we'll send this puppy home try to avoid stirring your vibrato the second that you attack the string with the pick mm -hmm. i always like the note to establish itself even if it's by a millisecond establish the pitch and then shake the pitch out of tune if you're like vibratoing all the time and you're just bending and back and forth, oh, right. like, yeah, sure. I mean, it can sound cool for an effect, but you're really not telling the audience or the listener what the note is that you're applying the vibrato sure. to. So it's just a little trick for you. Sure, you can I do both. I love this stuff. This, oh, we can keep going if we had more time. But we're not. No. So we're just going to say bye. Bye, we'll miss you. I'm Paul Vario. I'm John Bavona. Thank you very much for joining us here on Guitar Slinger TV today. Uh, please hit the subscribe button for us. Check us out at Patreon.com. We have exclusive content. Wow, that that, that was, was good one. that was for you. That was one of your best. Thank you. I'm working on it. Well, I'm it, make it. It shows. I'm gonna make it my new thing. It shows. It's gonna be like my "Where's the Beef." All right. All right. Where's the beef? I have to come up with something I'm like old. that. But let me tell. Guitar Slinger TV. <laughs> Join us.